Evaluation of the role of creatine phosphokinase as a biomarker in acute myocardial infarction patients. By Priyal Agrawal via Journal of Indian Academy of Oral Medicine and Radiology, 2017-29-4. Priyal Agrawal, Tushar Fulambrakar, Siddharth K. Singh, Anjali Gupta. Journal of Indian Academy of Oral Medicine and Radiology 2017-29-4. 263-266. Introduction, the study hypothesized that salivary creatine phosphokinase, CPK, can act as a biomarker in diagnosing acute myocardial infarction, AMI, as an alternative to serum CPK, which is a contributory effort towards non-invasive procedures to detect the disease. Aims and Objectives the main aim of our study was to propose the normal range of salivary CPK in patients with AMI, and to explore the relationship between serum and saliva levels of CPK with comparison of salivary CPK as a biomarker between healthy individuals and patients with AMI. Materials and Methods A case control study was carried out including 144 participants who were divided in two main groups. 72 normal healthy individuals and 72 with AMI. CPK levels were assayed in serum and unstimulated whole saliva of AMI and controls by International Federation of Clinical Chemistry, IFCC, method. Statistical analysis. Statistical analysis was performed using unpaired T-test and Pearson correlation coefficient test. Results. The normal proposed range of salivary CPK of patients with AMI was found to range from 11.30 to 184.50 UL in males and 20.17 to 69.00 UL in females. The mean salivary and serum CPK was significantly higher in patients with AMI as compared to healthy individuals with P0.001. Saliva CPK concentration correlated significantly with serum CPK of AMI and healthy individuals with R equals 0.247. Conclusion, salivary CPK can be used as an alternative to serum CPK in patients with AMI.